All right, so explain, explain the, the difference in the machine so I can have a record of it. I can do that. Basically, anytime you're looking for electrolyzed reduced water, the biggest component is the electrolysis process. Electrolysis is the means by which this type of machine makes the alkalized water. This question of power times the amperage times the surface area of the plates. So, for instance, the SD501, which is what we use for Skylar, has 230 watts, it has 2.5 amps, and it has 466 square inches of plate space, which gives you a number of 267,950 potential electrolysis units. What that means is that's the ability to generate an electrical discharge to disassociate water. That's a big fancy term, but if you look at the second unit in the um, my idea of comparison. On the market, the Junior is the second best machine. Here's why. It has 120 watts, 1 amp, and 210 square inches of surface area. That gives you a number of 25,020 approximately, which is actually only 9.4% power compared to the SD501. However, if you take the average competitor's machine, they have 110 watts times a half amp times 117 square inches of plate space or 6,435 PEUs. That's only 2.4% of the power of the SD501. The big secret to these is not just the power, but the amperage. One amp equals 6.241 times 10 to the 18 electrons. <clears throat> when you disassociate water, what you're looking for is you have this water molecule like this. Well, it's going to break the water down, and you'll have two hydrogen ions, and it'll create two hydroxyls. Well, these instantly bond and give you H2 dissolved in water. Easiest test to prove it. Take a cigarette lighter, put the unit on 9.5, and you can actually hear the H2 burn off. These hydroxyls are what effectually create the effect of alkalizing the water versus making it alkaline. When you make water alkaline, you're basically trying to add calcium and or magnesium. Alkalized water increases the ratio of hydroxyl and hydrogen. And so that's where you get the difference in this machine, and that requires an enormous level of power. So if you were to take the three main units that Enagic sells, you have the travel unit known as the R, you have the Junior, and you have the SD501. Well, the R has three small plates, the Junior has three large plates. The SD501 has seven large plates. This has 120 units, um, watts. This has 120 watts. This has 230 watts. This produces an ORP. That means oxidation reduction potential. Read, it's a, actually millivoltage milt on the water, but it's the ability to act as free radical scavengers, energize the cells, and this is negative 350, negative 450, and negative 800. This charge lasts approximately 12 to 24 hours. This one approximately 24 to 48 hours. And this is 72 hours plus. It degrades over time in what's considered an exponential factor. So first day, if this is 800, goes to 400. Third day would be 200. Fourth day would be 100. That's not actual facts based on research, that's me playing with my ORP meter for a week and just testing the different types of water. You'll still end up with filtered water after these things expire, but you'll have lost the ORP, which is the charge that allows it to facilitate getting water into the cells. And that's basically the difference in the machines. But right here, you're looking at a machine that's about 2,500 compared to other machines that are about 2,500. If you look at the $900 machines, you get what you pay for. You're looking at 
you know, low grade titanium, low grade platinum. These here use medical grade titanium and medical grade platinum in these plates. I don't know what kind of platinum or titanium you're getting in these. But isn't that why some of them don't use the uh, transformer? Correct. Because they get too hot? Correct. They use a switch mode power supply to. They're usually mesh plates, but that's, that's just another little thing. You were asking a comparison of these machines, and that's really what makes this one particularly stand out. You, if you've got somebody with a health condition that is really looking to create optimum hydration, this has the highest ORP, has the most available hydrogen, the most available hydroxyl, and it will hydrate the tissues better than anything else I've seen. And that's why we got such crazy awesome results with Skylar.